Hi, welcome to another Mystic Dude Division 2 video. So today we're going to look at a couple of aspects of the game, but the main one is the optimization costs. They are expensive, but there's a way around it. So this is my main character, as you've probably seen running around. Uh, and this is an alt that I just leveled up recently. It took me about four and a half, five hours just to get through Warlords to get it to level 40. Now what happens when you get to level 40? You get your watch. And you can also then travel back to DC. Your crafting bench is leveled up. So you, and you can also use items out of your stash. But the big thing is, is your watch. So if you go to your watch, there's my SHD level. 1790. So that was 1790 on me, main character. Once you level your alt up to 1790, it puts all the points in. You you have to put all the points into these. So 200 there, 200 there, 200 there, and 200 there. And then any that are left over, you get for your scavenging box. And as you can see, I've got 663 there. I have spent a couple of hundred because it was a bit tedious to do them. But, as you can see, with 663, you can basically max out anything you want. So, like, if I wanted ceramics, you know, I could put some ceramics in there. I suggest using them for SHD calibration and field recon. But, as you can see, with 663, you, you've got a lot to be going at. Now this is a new character, I've only just put two builds on her. I've just done two easy ones, easiest builds to do first I always recommend is get a couple of skill builds under your, under your belt. So this is just a standard hardwired build, four piece hardwired, one piece wyvern, one piece china, seekers and stinger. Decent gun, you could use harmony. Or if you've got two capacitors, you're not using capacitor on your, your other character, or you're happy to swap them, use capacitor. But perfectly in sync, and either the test subject or the harmony will work. And then whatever your chosen backup weapons is, I do like the shotgun at the moment, so that's pretty good. And uh, the other one is just the wave rig. So let's see. If we wanted to max something, we'll have a look at the costs and how to get them. As you can see, they're already maxed. So let's say my next build I wanted was uh, a DPS build. So let's see. Uh, so let's go with Eagle Bearer. So I'll look at the Eagle Bearer. Put it on. Right, so it's pretty good rolled as you see there already. So let's just say I wanted to max that out on the elf damage. Yeah, so we'll look at the, have a quick look at the costs. They are expensive. So we go to optimization, assault rifles, eagle bearer, select eagle bearer, come down to elf. Now you can see there at the bottom there's numbers, one of them's red. So that's going to be uh, assault rifle alloys. If you want to know which icons mean what while you're in the screen just hit resources and have a look for the corresponding icon so as you can see there 39 of 77 i need so i can see the icon just double check that's the same one 39 of 77 so i need another 38 assault rifle alloys so there's a couple of ways you can do this if you've got a lot of gold, and I'm, I'm actually down to 330,000 now, I, I was on about 4 million, but I did buy a lot on my main character. So one way of doing it, if you've got excess gold, just run to the vendor, have a look what he's got, find an assault rifle, there you go, 8,500,000, eight, eight we'll call it 8,500,000 a piece. Yeah, so 
you're talking 320,000 ish for 40 of them so you soon go through your money but that's one quick way to get your alloys another quick another way to do it I nearly said quick then it's not quick have a look where targeted loot is as you can see it's West Portamac just put it onto normal difficulty put a, a good strong build on and just run around smashing everything up and looting uh, assault rifles another way you could do is to run summit put it on targeted loot for whatever you need for your optimization so assault rifles in this case and set up set up some challenges while you do it and hit your 30 floors that way you'll, you'll get caches and you'll get an exotic and other stuff and finally the other way to do it is uh, you can craft them so we'll go to the crafting go to the new optimization so let's go assault rifle alloys so for each one of these we get 10 so it's not cheap so we go one two three right now we're now short of receiver components right so I can't make another one so I can't get receiver components that quick and you can't actually turn these in here so you do have to go out and find some stuff but receiver components will come from smashing stuff up so that's that's 30 allies anyway so we go to optimization assault rifles eagle bearer elf damage we're now looking at 69 out of 77 so you know we're now only needing eight yeah so let's go to this one so we go by two three four five six seven eight I don't know if I counted that right now I missed it so all you need to do is scrap them one two three four five six seven eight deconstruct junk I never looked then. Did that give me eight? Optimization, assault rifles, eagle bearer, health damage. There we go. 77 out of 77. So we can we can now optimize that. And now we've got a god rolled eagle bearer. So you're still going to need to do a bit of farming for the allies. Or you're still going to need to do a bit of farming for the components to make the allies, as you can see now. Because I scrapped the, them weapons, I actually got some receiver components. You know, so you do get a bit back. So target what you need, you know, be aware of what you can get from your watch. You know, I mean, most of these ceramics, polycarbonate steel, you can get just by playing the game and scrapping. Like I say, I'd, I'd save your points for these two, the bottom two, SHD and Field Recon. And I suppose if you wanted, you could always level a third character up and get extra points that way. Don't forget, they are shared resources. So if you was to... Providing you bought the shared blueprints from the blueprint vendor. If I log out and go back onto my main character. Now what you'll see here is the it, it should show the SHD level the same, but it should show the rewards weighting different. So there we go, seventeen ninety. If I go down to my watch level, there's actually only 63 weight in there. 
yeah but as you can see the amounts between them both are shared so that is shared but the levels on this isn't shared these are individual to each character yeah but if I went and created another character now and leveled it up to 40 again any anything over that uh, level of 800 I think it's 800 for the for these I don't think this counts so it's just two four six eight anything over that or go into that the watch level and then you can then use it for resources this makes optimization a hell of a lot easier and quicker you still got a bit of farming to do but it, it does drastically take the pressure off it it's very poorly designed in my opinion uh, I don't know what the right answer would be if they took the constraints off the cost of some of these so let's just see what a cost would be to that one you know so that's 300 alloys there if they took the constraints off then everybody would be having all running around with total 100% max style builds and the game would risk coming a bit stale and boring more than it has but you've got to have a sort of goal in the game even if you're at a decent level and you've you've got decent gears you've still got to have a, a goal and something to aim for to log in and play especially if the solo play if you're with friends you're not too bad uh, but for solo play you, you've got to have like a, an ends to a means like why am I logging in today what am I going to do w with the lack of content or not let me rephrase that not lack of content as you can see there's quite a bit on the map there's, you could argue there's a lot to do you know even though you might have done it hundreds of times it's lack of replayable content yeah the summit was brought in to be replayable it is replayable to an extent you've got to try and get out of it what you can I tend to go and do it and use it for farming purposes and I make it interesting by putting the challenges on uh, and changing the difficulty levels up and down putting directives on it, it is starting to get a bit boring though for me and I know that I know there's some players still liking it and some lost interest with it after a week so you know it's, it's not each to their own we do need something more in the game I don't think we're going to get it to be honest we're too busy playing uh, Star Wars and working out whose lightsaber is bigger than whose or working on Avatar uh, so it's unlikely we're going to get any more content other than content which they can use to uh, to sell us stuff with such as apparel you know the uh, new Resident Evil is coming that's great especially for Resident Evil fans I'm looking forward to that I do like my costumes there's nothing wrong it adds a bit of fun to the game you know but again if you've got all the outfits what what is it to do once you've collected the next one so I don't know we could do with another game mode or just more more content adding but anyway for now I hope I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that's helped you out with optimization like I say leveling up a character especially from the 30 to 40 is a lot quicker than farming for the points so I hope, hope that'll help some people get on the way to at least maxing out one or two builds and having a bit bit of fun with them. So for now, Mystic Dude out.